One of the weird things I realised when I was illustrating my friend Andrew Jimson's Brief Lives of the American Presidents was that I'd actually drawn the last nine presidents in real time, in anger, the heat of war as it were. Uh, from Nixon onwards, I'd actually drawn all of these presidents over a 50-year period, admittedly, in Nixon's case when I was a teenager, but nonetheless, there was a kind of visceral reality. I knew what they looked like. Um, and even weirder, I had real problems in drawing John F. Kennedy, who is possibly one of the greatest icons of the 20th century. And yet, because I hadn't drawn him at the time, because I was five, I uh, couldn't quite capture the essence of him. You need to get, if you're going to caricature somebody, you need to grab hold of whatever it is inside their soul to capture the essence of the person. Um, but in drawing them, I think my favourite drawing is probably of Lincoln. There was something about Lincoln's long, lengthy strength. He looks weedy, but is an Im inner strength. Um, and, of course, with the monsters like Trump and Nixon and Reagan, it's just a pleasure. It's just a pleasure to be able to cock snooks at somebody who is, when you're drawing them, literally the most powerful man on earth who could have me nuked.